Hello and welcome to Learn English with Wordle for Monday the 7th of March 2022. I've just put the coffee in the machine, so let's have a fairly short game today. <laughs> Otherwise, the coffee will be overbrewed. Uh, right now, I've got a great word for you today. Uh, it might not be a particularly useful word unless you're a scientist, um, but it's a word that I encountered just very recently on a scientific program on the BBC radio. And... Uh, uh, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to, I thought it was a great word for Wordle because it has three vowels. This is a geoid. Do you know what geoid is? Hmm, join the club, I suspect, for mo many or most people. Well, okay, it's like this. Uh, the Earth um, is not a perfect sphere. Um, it has uh, mountains and things, and it's... Uh, a, a, not exactly a, sphere, a perfect spherical shape. It's kind of compressed at the top, that kind of thing. But when scientists need to work out various um, aspects of measurements um, on planet Earth, they often need to use a hypothetical Earth with sea level at the same level across uh, in a uniform way. Now, sea level is not actually the same everywhere. Um, and so uh, they need to use the geoid or a geoid um, as a hypothetical, perfect, um, spherical Earth. Yeah, there you go. So it's a countable noun. Now, I'm not sure you'll be able to use that in your everyday thing, but maybe you'll be able to impress your friends. And certainly it will give us three vowels for a word or so. <laughs> Let's see if any of those... Okay, we got the, the D in the right place, and we have an O. And we don't have an E or an I, but the O is not in the right place. Um, so, uh, where would the O go? Now, if there could be more than one vowel, of course. Um, right, now after my <laughs> enthusiasm at that word, um, I've got to think of something else now. D is at the end, hmm. but there's no E, so it's not an ED. Um, let me put my glasses on, it might help me to think. If it's not an ED, what letters could we have before the D? Could have an R, could have an N. How about the word bound, B-O-U-N-D? Now, uh, bound could be uh, a verb to bound along, okay? Or it could be the past tense or past participle of the verb to bind, which means to tie. Uh, and then we often use it in the phrase bound to occur, which means likely to occur, that kind of thing. So that's an interesting word that we could use, and we might get a position on the O. And we might get some other letters with a bit of luck. We got the O. Okay, we got the O. But nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to need to scribble down now then. So we've got blank O, blank, blank D. And now I'm going to write down some other letters. How about world? W-O-R. I mentioned geoid. The first word that I just write down the W and look, it could be world, couldn't it? I've got to try that. No W. But we do have an R. Interesting. Okay. Right, so an R somewhere. Well, not 
not in that location either here. Oh. Round? No, we can't have a round. Uh, uh, okay, let's let me scribble down the. Re I didn't get very far in writing down the letters. I only got as far as W, and then I had a guess. So let me put some letters down then. I have a lot of letters left actually. If they ever use Z, X, or Q in any of these words, I'm going to be stumped because <laughs> I always avoid writing them down when I'm uh, <coughs> doing my own notes. Oh dear, my coffee might not be as fresh as I'd like it to be. <laughs> I was going to suggest gonad, but there's no N, fortunately for you. Because <laughs> I think that's probably not a good word to try teaching. Oh, we've got to put the R in, that's right. Uh, I, I almost forgot. So uh, it could be RD then, couldn't it? Um, if it's RD, what might that be? Hoard. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse the coughing again. Okay, <coughs> we could have <coughs> maybe uh, hoard. H a o r d. Now uh, we have to be a little bit um, careful about this. To hoard is to to store. Um, particularly, kind of. Um, overstore if you like when you kind of get too much and look at uh, get too much of something to hoard something um store um keep um that, that kind of thing um don't confuse it with hoard which is spelt with an e uh, which has a different meaning okay uh hoard can be a verb or a noun so it can be a hoard of something so to hoard or a hoard but uh, i think it we have a good chance with this word, actually. Oh! Ah, yes. Okay. I wasn't sure about that one. Very often I'm pretty sure about the, f the final choice, but that one I wasn't sure about, but it, we d I did see it was a good, cho a good chance. Okay, so we definitely had two good words there. Geoid and world kind of closely related, I guess. Um, very interesting, I thought. Um, if we hoard uh, the fossil fuels in the world, the geoid will never be achievable and we are bound to destroy ourselves. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.